Hey everybody, happy new year once again. <laughs> We're gonna keep saying that because, I don't know, it's a new year. And also, we haven't really said this, 2023 was wild in so many ways, but thank you for everyone who has subscribed, who keeps watching, and people leave comments. We read every single one of them. So thank you everyone uh, for supporting us because it's fun. Also, somebody mentioned it on a comment last time that this summer will be our five years that we've been making videos on YouTube. So maybe we'll do something wild for our five year anniversary. Oh my God, maybe I'll eat an entire cake. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but we wanted to say that again. And as you can see by the title of this video, we're gonna talk about something we really haven't talked a lot about in the last couple months. There's things that are going on, but we haven't talked a lot about this. And there's a lot of confusion going on with the uh, Lucy Kira situation. I think it's a lot, so it's hard to keep up exactly what's going on. Because as you know, over the summer, and I think we did a video about it in September, you know, the, the question was, you know, was Wands over? Did they each find a new love? Was Kira with Laura Firesinger? And was Lucy with Ona Batier? Because we did a video about it. It looked like, they were possibly together, you know, after the World Cup, we remember the videos of Ona and Lucy and, the, you know, kind of consoling each other. Yes, they're friends, but was it something more? And also we saw the pictures of Kira and Laura kind of looking coupley because I I truly thought up until the summer, Wands was 100% a thing. They're still a couple. It's just on the down low that that guessing game was still there. Uh, up until the summer, I really, truly thought that. So I really did. And then after time kind of got, went on, I kind of, it doesn't look like they're together. Because when everyone was speculating about Ona and Lucy possibly being a thing, as much as I loved Wands, I was really into the Lucy-Ona thing. Obviously, it was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen, but. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah has a huge crush on Lucy and Ona, so she was completely into it. Yeah, I'll eat that sandwich any day. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> And also, Kira looked really happy with Laura. So it was kind of one of the things, you know, if, if they had broken up, Lucy and Kira, although it's hard, they did look like they were happy with possibly their new partners. And that's kind of one of the things I did want to talk about. But the first thing I want to talk about is how, you know, I always say this with Woso. I always say, you know, when couples get together, then they break up. I generally think that the fans are pretty good about moving on about saying, you know, they broke up. There's been a lot of instances where two high profile uh, people have been together and they break up and then the fans kind of move on with it. You know what I mean? But with Lucy and Kira, it's hard for some portion of the fans to kind of move on. And I don't know if it's because they love Lucy and Kira so much. I don't know if it's because they have so many fans. I mean, they have a lot of Spanish fans because they play for Barcelona or if it's just because it's Lucy and Kira that are, have been together for so long. But some of the fans are having a harder time dealing with the possible with the breakup which i find very strange because they have never technically said they were together but i thought about this i think that's part of the lore of wands like it's because it's so special people feel so invested understandably that it's hard to like it's almost like a myth it's wands lucy kira myth of like it goes beyond fandoms to some people and i get that as being a fan it's like the mythical mystery creatures of it all okay this is they're not wendigos <laughs> no <laughs> i think people are so highly invested that it's hard for people to possibly see lucy and una ona together or kira and laura together you no know, because over the last couple months there's not been any hard and fast evidence that they are 100 percent a couple they haven't announced anything but there has been some there has been some pictures lately. Ona Batier did a photo dump a couple weeks ago and you can see she's with a bunch of friends, none, none with Lucy, but um, there is one, she's in a kayak, like a fun picture of kind of like a photo dump of all her friends. And then you see knees there and people are like, are those Lucy's knees? They kind of look like Lucy's knees. It came, some people point out they don't think they were Lucy's knees, but that was kind of the question. Is that Lucy's knees? Those aren't Lucy's toes. <laughs> You could have asked me first, okay? <laughs> I'm also a body part expert. <laughs> and then recently, Ona posted a photo dump again, and there's a bear that says, I love you. And somebody looks like they she won the bear with someone. And it looks like a, rare, a very cute date that she's on. Um, Looks like they went to like a steakhouse. Oh, there is a fun concert that's going on. And, I mean, that's a date night if I've ever seen anything. So a lot of people said, that's, I think Ona is soft launching her and Lucy a little bit. So if you see this concert, a fan got a picture of the opposite side of Ona and Lucy. Ah, uh, interesting. 
So it kind of was confirmed that it was them, but this looks like a complete date night just for fun. Um, and the picture, I love you and the huge, the huge bear. I mean, that is very cute. Then there's a super cute picture of, this is four days ago, of this is her dog. Um, super cute, super cute dog. And then people notice that Lucy's dog is directly next to her. That's Lucy's dog's collar. Doggy play date. It's uh, Lucy's dog Nala in the third picture. And people like pointed out it's the same co collar as Nala. And up until leading this, you know, there was pictures of them like on the pitch after games, kind of talking, being close. And then uh, people mentioned that there was this one, I think this was like in October, that um, Lucy um, went to Ona's family and threw a game. And also that Lucy follows up his family on Instagram. So no, no one's hiding anything in that respect, but they haven't really declared anything either. So, you know, if something's going on, I think it's kind of a soft launch. I know some people kind of had the question about that. Is it a soft launch? I think it is a soft launch. Um, and on the other hand, you know, Kira and Laura aren't completely shying away from kind of soft launching as well. And this this is kind of what prompted this video. Um, the other day, Kira posted a posted a photo up five days ago. A bunch of, you know, had a bunch of her friends, friends there. Then we get to this picture. Her and Laura cute looking like friends looking like possible lovers however you know she included that picture and i think that was a big step because she knows what the fans you know are thinking right now meaning are we together are you worried you know so she posted that being kind of like okay i'm gonna post it whether or not to us it means a soft lunch i know to the fans it will mean something like that so she posted that and then what happened next was kind of, oh, it was kind of sad, you know, it was kind of sad. Apparently, she had the comments turned on on that photo dump, just like normal, had the comments turned on. Then she was getting a lot of comments about Juan's Lucy dating, a lot, a lot of comments. And it actually, and I didn't read any of the comments because I didn't look on that initially. But then I, this is how I heard about it, that she had the comments on, but they, the comments got so out of control that she had to turn the comments off. And I did not read the comments. I'm on Tumblr and I do, re I'm gonna read this because I think this is indicative of kind of some of the comments that were going on. This is something from Tumblr. I'm gonna read it because, I, you know, that's kind of what this video is kind of about more than anything. The fact that Kira had to turn off comments due to the absolute, due to absolute vile words directed towards Laura genuinely disgusts me. These are grown women with lives. I think some seem to forget this. Let the woman be happy. She's sharing a very important section of her private life. Respect her and respect those who surround her, who she surrounds herself with. And it kind of just says happy new year, but yeah, I think that's kind of the, the shocking part that, you know, if you, if for people that have kind of negative words or negative, things because if I think something or I feel something maybe I'll go on Tumblr maybe I'll go on Twitter I'll look at it if I feel a certain way but I would never go to the person's page and put it I don't know that's just me like I, I don't want it to come across I feel like I'm holier than thou or I'm like it's, it's kind of wild to me um, because I feel bad for Kira and I feel bad for Laura and I feel bad for Lucy and Ona because they didn't have anything to do with it either but I, you know I didn't read any of these comments you know what it actually reminded me of and I told Sarah this it reminded me of like the Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber fans how how they just don't like each other like, no one should be mad at it anyway but I felt bad for Kira when I heard about this because you know she did post the picture knowing that she knew that this picture was gonna it was like a little part of her heart and she posted it and to get a lot of those comments I just felt really bad for her and Laura hey everyone it's Sarah here I'm just editing the video and I just wanted to kind of reiterate that we know that the majority of Kira and Lucy fans are not the ones who are kind of writing the the mean things. I think it's just a very, very small portion, one or two percent or something, but they tend to be the loudest portion. So most of the ones and Lucy and Kira fans are just happy for them as people and that they just want to see them happy. So I, I know it's just a very small percent. And my second question was, I feel bad, but I'm thinking, is it people that are just trying to stir the pot? Because any anytime we get comments on our channel or comments I see around, it's normally pretty, hey, happy for them, you know, sad it didn't work out, but I, I don't, some of the vile comments, I'm thinking, are they little kids, like 12 year olds who are just getting involved or people who just want to stir the pot, you know what I mean? Uh, and I'm always thinking, you know, especially on her page, because I don't know, I just felt really bad for Kira. And then it made me think, is this going to help or hurt 
the possibility of Kira even wanting to share anything again. Yeah. Because it could either go one of two ways. And I was thinking about this too. One, Kira could just say, I'm not going to share anything now because it hurt too much to get such a negative backlash at this point. I, I'm going to be private, private. Or the other thought I had was that sometimes when things are so private, it becomes like, almost like we got to figure it out. We It almost hypes people up even more so to be like, totally we have to know what's going on because then that they're trying to find something out so it almost makes it even more crazier if if they don't know what's going on so that's what i was thinking too because sometimes because i always say this especially like with some couples that were kind of more secret and they became out once once it was officially thing kind of that rampant like session kind of dies down a little okay now we know okay what's next what's next you know so i just felt bad for laura i just felt bad for kira because you know, we'll see if she wants to share anything else in the future about Laura or, you know, kind of just take it completely quiet about it. So that's kind of what this video is about. A, are Ona and Lucy kind of soft launching? Um, and B, at the at concurrent time, are Kira and Laura kind of a, they kind of doing a soft launch too, but it kind of, I don't know. I, at you as fans or us as fans, when we see other fans be kind of negative, does, I'm just trying to figure out, are these people who are going to her page and saying kind of vile things? It could be one person. I actually don't know. You know, I didn't want this video to be negative or anything, but, you know, I just felt bad. I guess that was my kind of point of it, that Kira had to turn off her comments. Be because more than anything, I see 98% of people positive about it and maybe one percent of those people are like kind of like the people who want to cause a problem because I loved ones together I think they and I it's very special but then you know if Lucy and Ona are together I'm into it you know what I mean I love it you're into anybody being with anybody <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're into love yeah and also yeah so what does everyone think that's kind of you know that's kind of the point of the video did anyone see that Kira had turned off her comments Questions, comments down below. Again, happy new year. The, the the break is pretty much over for a lot. WSL games are gonna come back. A lot of exciting things happening in the NWSL. I mean, if you're a Gotham fan, you must be screaming. Su super team. Yes. 100% a super team. <laughs> That's the thing. I, I didn't say this, I'll say it now. If, if someone is a super fan of Wands, I get it. Because they were a hot couple. But if you like them individually as people, then you wouldn't wanna say anything negative about their new partners either. You know what I mean? So that, I, I didn't say that back then, but that's kind of the thought. If you like them, then being happy for them, no matter what, where they have gone on in their life, that is important. Questions, comments down below. What does everyone think? And we will be back soon. There is still a lot going on out there. Bye.